Amber is one of the most unique and visually pleasing fossils that there is. Like, look at this one right here. You can see that it's actually made of tree sap that's been fossilized. And sometimes if you're really lucky, like here, you can get a little insect or something stuck inside. Isn't that really cool? Hi everyone, and welcome to Fossil of the Week. My name is Dino Hunter. Nobody is going to call you that. You don't know that. <sighs> Hi everyone, and welcome to Fossil of the Week. My name is Hunter Schrader. Now this week we've got a really, really neat fossil for you, but before we get to our big ticket item, we're gonna look at what amber usually looks like. We're all familiar with the really polished version that looks like glass, but a lot of times it looks a lot more like this. And something really cool about this, I'm going to use this pink flashlight because the gift shop was out of green ones. You can see there that you can actually see through amber. This is one of the coolest features about amber, and when you shine a light through it, it does have that really beautiful color to it. Now, another cool feature about amber is it does look a lot like glass, and it's really light, meaning that I could throw this at my cameraman for not being very receptive to cool ideas, and I would barely go to prison. But that's just an average chunk of amber. What, what I'm about to show you guys is maybe the most unique fossil I've shown you yet, and I'm not saying that as an exaggeration. What we've got right here is, surprise, surprise, another chunk of amber, but there's something a little, uh, little weird about it. Let's look a little closer and see what I'm talking about. What may at first seem like just an ugly rock is actually a chunk of amber, like I said. And the thing that's really significant about this is this right here. Now there's not just one, there's another one here, a big one over here, there's one on the top here. Now what are those? Those are mollusks. Think like clams and stuff. Now I know what you're thinking right now. Hunter, wait a second. Last time I checked, clams don't climb trees. Good observation. So your next question is probably, how is it that there are mollusks in tree sap, right? That is a great question. One I don't have the answer to actually. But one of the best things about paleontology is trying to figure out why things happened. We're given the finished result, but we don't have the clues along the way. What happened? Was it that the tree sap fell into the water and then came into contact with the mollusks? Was it that the area dried up and then they came into contact? Who knows? I don't. But that's one of the cool things about this. And let us know in the comments what you guys think happened. But that is all the time we have for this Fossil of the Week. Thank you guys very much. This is Dino Hunter signing out. It's not gonna stick. It will.